So I'm out here at the parking lot for Ross, waiting. It's Ross, Route 21, Dollar Tree. We are in the back here. Uh, we, this is looking the overlooking the path that she will become. She will become a running down here, and she'll be finishing down there, and then coming up here. So this is where we will be ending the stream once she gets here. So we've got another 45 minutes or so. I'm trying to get Anna out of her car. Can you grab my water bottle, please, before you close the door? Thank you. We're chilling. <laughs> Only like 45 minutes ish. If she's on her way here, I don't actually know where she is. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, so, like I've been saying, if she's not out at uh, Liberty in the next couple of minutes, then she's probably on her way here. What does that mean? I have no idea. It's probably a bot. It is a bot. It's it's a Twitch bot. What are you up to? Scrolling. Scrolling. Scrolling for memes. Exciting. Thought about making a Gilbert and Sullivan meme page. Or not a meme page, but a, a Gilbert and Sullivan meme post for a Savyard's web page. Okay, bet. I, I think that would be interesting. I know there are Gilbert and Sullivan meme accounts on Instagram. Some of some of those memes are actually really good too. Uh, so, I don't know if they're on their way to Ross yet. Um, I've had people ask me if she's already gone by Liberty. I have, I am not sure. So, what I've been telling people is that if they are not at Liberty within the next couple of minutes, then they are on their way to the finish line. So, if you're planning on either going to Liberty or, or the finish line, go ahead and come to the finish line because that'll be easiest and she'll get here in like half an hour to an hour they're running ahead of schedule so it'll be before the estimated time of two o'clock It is hot. The sun came out. The sun decided to come out in the last little bit, so I'm glad she's wrapping things up. I think my grandparents are out here. Or at least I saw the, I thought I saw them live when we were coming in. After the stream, check out the uh, 
Durham Saviar's YouTube channel. It was posted earlier in the in the chat. Uh, bitly dsl on YouTube. Uh, we'll be posting the 1993 Mikado at almost as soon as this is, this live stream is done. But also while you're at it, check out the other videos on the YouTube page uh, that have been a part of this fundraiser. There have been a bunch of uh, Saturday videos with other members of the organization talking about working with Derek. Uh, John Paul did a video yesterday where he was running a marathon, which was very entertaining to watch. So I would recommend that video. You can also check out some of our, our highlight videos from the Mikado last year in 2019 or the Ruddigore in 2018. Uh, there's even the 1981 Utopia if you wanted to uh, check that out. Uh, I'm on like 18%. I'm on 27%. Do you want to go grab the other battery in the cord? I, I looked for it, but I couldn't find it. The cord for your car and then the battery in the book bag. I don't know where in the, your book bag the battery the is. The main one. Anna just unplugged my phone. From my uh, battery backup. I'm not sure how charged my phone is, so we shall see. Also, since I haven't plugged this in a while, uh, check out uh, Zazzle.com, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E, uh, and look up Derm Saviards on Zazzle because we have a lot of uh, items on that website that you can get. Uh, uh, we, me, my mom, and Michael are wearing... Um, customizable shirts so I've got a sleeveless shirt that has the DSL logo on it and uh, the um, uh, lyrics to the Pirate King from Pirates of Penzance on the back of it okay So impatient. Well, I'm trying to get to a shady spot because my phone's overheating. The downside to streaming on your phone, it overheats. So, this should help a little bit. Um, So now once you come into the parking lot, I'm standing literally right next to one of the Bed Bath and, and Beyond uh, signs. Um, my mom will be here in roughly about an hour. That's the plan anyway. Um, she's ahead of schedule, so it won't be the one, it won't be the two o'clock that we put in the map. It'll be more like one o'clock ish. So, Ignore that uh that last comment by the random bot in chat.
if you see any uh, any uh, chat uh, chats in the chat box with any links that are not from one of our people, then don't uh, click the link as that is not one of our links and uh, it's not good. And I currently do not have a way to uh, prevent that from happening right now. breaking sticks and just give you an Anna update every now and then update she threw a stick at me now that it's, it's stuck on you well oh, thanks your phone buzzed I was reading a comment. So Michael says that they should be here around 1.30ish for being at the finish line. So I don't know the current time. What's the time? 12.30. So just under an hour from now is uh, when Michael is predicting that they'll be here. Y'all, I'm getting a real arm and hand workout. I just want y'all to know. I will not be doing another six hour live stream anytime soon. So if y'all are coming out here, uh, they won't be here till around 1.30 is when Michael's predicting. Uh, we're in the back corner of the Ross parking lot. Uh, I take it by Michael's comment that they've already passed Liberty. So if you're at Liberty or thinking about going to Liberty, just go ahead and come out to uh, the finish line since that's the next checkpoint that she'll be at. And once you enter the parking lot to the shopping center where there's a Ross, a, a Route 21, Dollar Tree, Shoe Carnival, all that, uh, we're going into the back corner. They were at the Duke Wall again, yeah, so they're doing the Duke Wall and then coming back. Um, but once you get to the parking lot, uh, go towards the uh, Bed Bath & Beyond signs, they're, they're blue signs, and you'll see us hanging out by the finish line. Anna and I are currently sitting down in the shade because my phone wants to overheat. We may end up going into the car in a few minutes to uh, let it really cool off and then come back out when it gets closer to time. In fact, I think that's what we should do. I don't know how much your phone's going to cool down in the car. I mean, it's cooled down quite a bit. You are connected to my pocket. So we're going to be chilling in the car. But uh, we're right next to the... Uh, the back edge of it where there's a oh there's more people lovely hello, hello. There's a guitar. Yeah. Good, good there, Carl. there you go 
This is Anna. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're just getting in the car because it's hot. And my phone's overheating. So, we're just chilling here. You don't know where she is, do you? She's at the Duke Wall again. Where what? The Duke Wall. Okay. And so she'll be here around 1.30. We're going to go see if we can kind find her. Yeah, okay. What road, do you know what road she's going to come down from the Duke Wall? She's, um, I do not. Uh, she, the... So where science and math is, she's coming down that road a bit, then she's going in through that neighborhood because she's going down the uh, LRB Creek Trail. Yeah, so she won't be on the main road for much longer. School of Science and Math, yeah. That's the people that we have the porch chat with. Nice. Yeah. Carl, Anna, and Olivia just came by. Uh, so I was talking with them. And you heard my end of the conversation. I don't think you heard their end of the conversation. But yeah, she's probably around the School of Science and Math right now. Or getting close to it. And then she'll be heading down the Ellerby Creek uh, pathway, which comes out down to where we are right now um but yeah so once you enter the uh the parking lot uh you'll see in the back corner two cars uh kind of spread out with some spaces in between one of them has an umbrella in her driver's side window that's uh that's us so i don't have an umbrella not in my you driver's side. oh mary oh you said someone has an umbrella in the driver's side window. That's us. And I was like, no, we don't. Yeah. We we do not, as you can as you can see by there. But there, Mary has the, the umbrella. Yeah. See, my phone's cooling off. That's good. Yeah. I could tell my phone overheats when uh, I'm outside and the, the screen starts to fade to black. Mm -hmm. That's no good. We don't want my phone to overheat. I've already, I've already had enough interruptions in the stream. So another 45 minutes approximately. What could we do in 45 minutes? You know, that's a good question. So. I've talked about all the buildings that I wanted to talk about. <laughs> Do another bitly link donate. Mm -hmm. I can get all my stuff organized. You can mess with my pockets and stuff. I don't remember where anything is. <laughs> Do another bitly donate link cam. Bitly bit.ly slash donate to DSL. Ask me another question. Ask you another question? Mm -hmm. Least favorite role in Gilbert and Sullivan? Like, your least favorite character? My least favorite character? Yeah. Who do you just think is the worst character? Oh, my. Um, hmm. Well, that's going to be limited to the ones that I've paid close attention to. Um. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say... That's difficult. I'm gonna post that to the, the people who are watching. Uh, your least favorite Gilbert and Sullivan character. So this can be one that you think was least developed or has the... Or someone you just think is stupid. Or someone you think is stupid. Like so many of their characters. No. Um, or one that uh, serves very little point to the plot. But then after that, you know, what's your what's your favorite Gilbert and Sullivan favorite character? Favorite. Yeah, favorite and least favorite Gilbert and Sullivan character. Just throw it in the chat. I'm gonna read it off because I I can't think of any character that I I don't like. I mean, there's characters that are. are I don't like Bacchus and Thespis in Trial. I just don't I, think they're funny. Bacchus. Bacchus. The, the the drunkard. Oh, Tipsion. T- oh, Tipsion. Sorry, know where I'm stupid. Got Bacchus, Bacchus is their god name. I mean, yes. Point is, I don't I don't like Tipsion. I don't that's like. That's fair. They just I don't know. I don't like Tipsion. That's fair. That's in Thespis and not Trial by Jury. Whatever. They're performed at the same time. I mean, yes. They're the same show in my head. They are not. More oh. people coming by. I never, never saw her. Yeah, she'll be coming by here in about half an hour. Are you? I am live. How are you like keeping track? Uh, I've been getting updates from chat. I've been uh, texting with Michael through okay. Anna's phone, but I am live right now. So how long? What, do you, what time do you think you should be here? In half an hour, one thirty ish. So what's she gonna do? Run off? Yeah, she's going to run down the pathway up here. Who's your favorite character then? I know you said Robin is... My dream yeah. role, apparently. Um, I don't know. That's a, a good question. Rude. What? There's a little bug on me. Oh, lame. You're lame. Wow. What, what would your favorite character be? My favorite? None of them. No. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Thespis is the one I know the best. So one from Thespis. So probably someone from Thespis. Um, actually, no. I think the plaintiff. Or no. No, the defendant. The defendant in trial by jury. So the dude. The guy. Yeah. The guy. The defendant. Yeah. I just think he's funny because he's such like a sleaze, but mm-hmm. so likable at the same time. Interesting. I don't know. I just think he's funny. I think he's well written. That's so valid. Thank you. I also like the ghost that you played in Redigor. That one specifically. A nondescript ghost. Nondescript ghost, yeah. And the whoever played the ghost that walked out of the picture that had two dogs in it. That one was also my favorite. So, what's funny is that in the Rudigore script, they actually wrote out a whole bunch of names for the ancestors. Which one? What was your name? Uh, I can't remember. I know you had a name. I know you told it to me. Yeah, because we were talking about it in the men's dressing room back when we were performing it. Um, what was your name? What was I, the dog guy's name? I don't remember. Wow. This was two years you ago. You don't remember the names of your characters? This was two years ago. I remember the names of every character I played. You know why? Why? Because I've only been, like, four. Yeah, see, I've been in too many to count. Yeah. Too many to count. I did, like, 40 with YPBC before I got to the Durham Savvy Arts. Yeah. Oh, also, all my characters always have really weird names because I always do really weird shows. Like, I did Honk, which is a musical of the Ugly Duckling, and I played the Ugly Duckling 
and my name was ugly. My name was just ugly. <laughs> Alan says his favorite role was to play with Lord Chancellor and Iolanthe. That's fair. And then hard to pick at least or yeah. That's that's valid. Like I can see that they all have a place in their show. Um, I just I'm very opinionated as a person. As I so am it's not. very yeah, and you were not so it's very easy for me to be like, yeah, I have a favorite and least favorite for everything. Mm. I just didn't think Tip Sam was funny. I think Ada did a good job in the show. I just didn't like the character. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Iolanthe is one of those uh those weird shows in my opinion where it's like uh it's one of the the lesser known ones but it's also a lot of people's favorites that one's about fairies yeah that one's about fairies. that's why it's people's favorite no because <laughs> people just like fairies and it's been long enough since i've seen iolanthe or read or heard it so i don't know anything about it There's the only ones fairies. i know i know that there are fairies I only know, obviously, Thespis and Trial and Mikado, and then I know Redagor and Pirates a little bit. Yeah. See, I've seen all of them. For, um, like, two weeks, I kicked around the idea of doing Pirates of Penzance Jr. at the summer camp I work at. Yeah. And then I was like, no, because we don't have enough boys first of all and second of all of the boys we do have none of them can pull off a patter song <laughs> in an understandable way like they would do it but they would be like there's my song and i'd be like <laughs> so anna works at a at a summer camp not like, this summer not this summer but uh in the past couple of summers she's worked in the uh the theater section of the um the the camp, the camp. so i co-direct um, junior shows that middle schoolers audition for. You know, if you audition, you get cast. But then there's always a few kids who are like, I'm not the lead, and then immediately drop. So, whatever. Um, but yeah, there's Pirates of Penzance Junior, and I kicked around the idea of doing that for a while, but then I scrapped it because we get... first. So there's two sessions for summer. The first session, we get a fair amount of boys. We, I think 10. I think we had 10 boys one summer out of like a 30-person cast. And then second session, we have two. Um, sometimes less. So, uh, I was like, you know what? Let's not do Pirates of Penzance because we aren't going to have enough boys. And I love, you know, I love them all, but they're also middle schoolers. And it's very hard for a middle schooler with no mic in the heat of summer with minimal training to go, yeah, I can do a patter song. I mean, you really only need three dudes for Major General Pirate King and Frederick. I mean, yes. Also, it's I mean, yeah. really hard to pull off romance because they're in middle school and they're like, I don't want to touch girls. And the girls are like, I don't want to touch boys. You got an inchworm on you. Oh, well. Can you smack it off? Oh. Put them outside the car. Oh, my God. This is me. You're the worst. Now he's just going to be in the car. But what, did, what shows did I do? In my you did two years as staff member, I did... Willy Wonka, Willy Wonka Into the Woods In the Into the Woods, Woods Jr. sucks though because it's only act one um, okay so uh, yeah so near the Bed Bath and Beyond there are three cars uh, there's a, a silver a black and a white one they're all kind of the same shape yeah they're all kind of the same shape and in between the white and the black car there's a a, a woman and what and her daughter on a bike and there's all, we're also against the chain link fence. We are against the... So, like, if you're facing the stores, turn around. And yeah. then you'll see the chain link fence. That's where we are. Yeah. So, the ten for Bed Bath & Beyond is down there. And we're, uh, you know, about far. We're the closest car to it. That's next to it. Do you think middle schoolers can pull off Pirates of Penzance Jr.? You know, I, I think they could. Uh, I think they could if we had more than a month. Hey, hey can you... Um, Untangle you? Well, no, I'm in the... What? I'm in... Oh. Because that's the other thing, is that we have three weeks to do the first show, and two weeks to do the second show. So... Yeah. So... It's a, yeah, so that would also make That would it also difficult. make it very, very hard to do Pirates of Penzance, because yeah. that show takes more than three yeah. weeks. Yeah. Of rehearsal. Step outside. Okay, I'm turning my car off then. Okay. You're good. Give me the the battery. Okay. 
I just stood up out of the car. So, if you see me, I am standing. Just let me know if you see me in the chat. I'm gonna go stand by the fence again if you wanna join me. Um, I will in a minute. Okay. So I am standing outside by the cars. I am near the the chain link fence. So you can pull in in one of the spots. Hi. So there's the Ross and the Route 21. There's the car. And we're out here at the chain link fence. If I can get the camera in front. There we go. Chain link fence. There's the pathway down here. So at around 1.30ish, she'll be running from that pathway all the way down here, down to the end. And that's where she will be. What? What? Yeah, I'm live right now. We should get, we need our masks. Some, we told everybody to that's Well, mine is in my pocket. <laughs> yes, masks are advisable. Well, masks are required out here. Oh. <laughs> Anna has left me to go get her signs. Yes, if you if you come out here and like to hold a sign, we have three or four of them that people can hold. imagine that uh, she will be here soon. The time for arrival was estimated to be around 1.30. Uh, I think we got out around 1-ish. I'm not actually sure. has put the signs up on the back of her car. I will come show. To show off your car? We'll cover it. There you go. We've got signs up on the car. For people driving by as I try not to get hit. But yeah. Signs going by. What time is it? It is 1.02. It is 1.02, so we've got another half an hour or so until Pam gets here.
Sorry? Under the tunnel, yeah. So she'll be coming from out the under the tunnel and going that way. That makes sense. Yeah. I'm driving across the freeway going, wow, this guy's not very good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get the cooler out. Okay. So we are wrapping up here, more people are... So we're getting close to the end, more people are starting to show up. We got another half hour or so until she's done. Why are you, why'd you get the cooler out? There's not much in there. There's Gatorades. Oh, do we put Gatorades in there? Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, we got a cooler full of Gatorades. Well, there's four Gatorades and then the two gallons. Yeah. The, the Gatorades were intended for Michael and my mom if they are out, but I have no idea if they are out or not. That, that is a, a good question to put in the chat. If they had, if they made a show based on your life. My life? Your life. Which GNS song would be in it? Uh, Tit Willow. The one about the bird that kills itself. Wow. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, my vote is Tit Willow. Okay. What about you, James? Let me think, let me think. Um... Let's see. How do we this is a good question? See that song would be in it. Uh I I don't know if this counts, but I I mean I am a, a big fan of Rudigore as I pointed out multiple times, but I would just love the the overture just in my in my uh show so like what do you think it would over it would over it would underscore you know probably just the beginning like the, the beginning like the, the beginning credits you're yeah. born or you're doing your amazing thing yeah because okay. not during the end credits because the uh, nobody watches the end credits yeah <laughs> and it's good music i want it to be heard more people what song do you think would be in the musical about your mom's life from Gina? You know, I don't know. Uh, she likes a lot of them. Hello. What's the word? Uh, she will be here around 1.30. That's the estimate. Beyond our, our capacity. We've, we've, we've already been at two other locations. I mean, yeah, she's well ahead of schedule right now. Oh, her. I mean, like, yay her. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Incredible credit to her, but we've now spent an hour and a half trying to cheer Pam off. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've been at it for six hours. I have to keep signed on for that. Yeah, well, we're, we're answering a, a question from chat. So if they made a show based on your life, which Gilbert and Sullivan song would be in it? I said Tit Willow. And Is that I, what it's called? I can't remember. I think so. I mean, mo most people would recognize it. The show is based on your life, and you have to, and one Gilbert and Sullivan song, which one would be? James in the said show? the Radigar oh, Overture. Yeah. yeah. Pat and Bruce have showed up for so Alan says alone and yet alive. I don't know who's that one. Which one's that? Um. Oh wait, that's Katashaw's, right? I think that's that's, the, that's her sad one. Yeah. Where she's like, I'm we, alive, but he doesn't love me, Rip. Yeah, we are at Ross. I will flip the camera. 
We are at Ross. We are in the parking lot. We are in the back here by the chain leak fence. Pam will be coming from down there and she'll be running that way. Yes, it is Catashaw's Lament near the end of the Mikado. Look at you. I mean, I'm just standing here. I mean, you could jump the fence. Jump the fence, hop down. Yeah. No. So, we are near the fence. We still got another 20 minutes or so till she's here. What if I drop my phone? I guess you're walking around to go get it. Mm -hmm. You gotta walk all the way down there and come back. Uh, I thought I saw her car when we first got here, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, we will see you here in a bit, Richard. More people are starting to show up. We're forming a crowd. Janelle says, maybe I've jibe and joke. Uh, well, <laughs> I'll be more I, I will pass along your congratulations and, and warm greetings, Alan. So if I ask Anna how she's doing, is that going to broadcast live on the chat? Uh, yeah, unless I walk away. I can walk away. I mean, we can have the conversation on chat or on Twitch. It's gotten all sorts of conversations on here. A lot of them being me complaining about his direction giving skills. Okay, look, okay, I'm no, hosting I, a live stream. You, you all were in the car. Yeah. You're like, well, where, where you want me to turn? Where you can... Well, because I'm trying to host and focus on hosting. Yeah. Oh, so your, your brother is with her. Yeah, he's on his bike. Okay. Yeah, Michael is on his bike. Amazing time since. Okay, we went. We were we were at St. Louis, and then it might have been twenty minutes. It was within twenty-five. Yeah, they they were and making. We were out there for half an hour, going, "Gosh, it's taking so long." Yeah, she she made an, uh, incredible progress because we had just gotten up while well, we were chilling at the Carolina Theater. We had just gotten up and said, "Hey, to my uh, grandparents." And we see, and we were like, she get to St. Philip's yet? And they were like, no, she's coming down this way. I was like, what? At which point you immediately didn't get on the phone to say, Pat, yeah, <laughs> Well, because it interrupts the live stream. Yeah, which is why I didn't answer any of the phone calls. Yeah, she she was going really fast today. We were just talking about it. Uh, I mean, yes, you heard me talking about it on the stream. Yeah, she she was fast for a lot of people to make it to Liberty. She was fast for people to get to St. Phillips, for the Carolina. She was just incredibly fast. Which, kudos to her. Because we were projecting it to go for another half hour longer, so I'll take ending half hour early. I may need to get back in the car for my phone to cool off a bit. Okay. 
come and chill in the driver's seat. You want to stand out here? Not particularly. Okay. You think there'll be enough leg room for you yeah. in the driver's seat? Yeah, okay. So, uh, we have Carl, Anna, and Olivia. We have Pat and Bruce, and we have Liz. These are the Saviards here uh, so far. And Mary's over on the other side of this car. She's chilling. She's staying cool. But yeah, so there's only a few of us out here right now. I did not expect for you to sit in the driver's seat. Okay. Oh. No, it's fine. Yes, I am getting back in the car. To, for my phone to cool off. Just a little bit. You got nothing? Nothing, no. Oh, okay. Babe. Mm -hmm. Nope. Um, shoot the... Go My thumb has decided to start bleeding. It's fine, it's not a serious bleed. Okay. Just wash your hands again. Yeah. So if anybody else is coming out here, giant group of Saviards gathered together outside. I think we got another person who walked up here, but yeah, everybody's chilling. Yeah, so Karen and Charles are coming out here, Richard and Timmy and are coming out here and Kathy's coming out here, Kathy Lamb. I don't know if Randy, Randy was not mentioned in the comments. I don't know if Randy's coming or not, but Kathy's coming out here. Uh, we've got our signs on the back of the car so you can see us, but also there's a giant group of people out here as well. It's a gnat flying in my face. If John Paul were here, we could have him do trivia. Yeah. <laughs> or run some laps. Yeah, we can make John Paul run some laps down here, on the I got pathway. Some, I got some uh, some East Travel Hill High trivia. I mean, nobody's going to get it because we're not familiar with it. Well, okay. Well, it's an easy question. It's an easy, easy trivia. True or false? East Chapel Hill High School has a pool on the roof. I, I you know declined to comment. You declined to comment? I declined to comment. Wow. Yeah, Kathy Lamb just got here, and I see your comment about Randy staying home. I just want to say the answer is true. We have a pool on the roof. I declined to it's comment. It's where our swim team practices. I declined to comment. It's right above the auditorium. I declined to comment. We all performed. We got another 10, 15 minutes or so for the estimate on when she'll get here. What? I'm just looking. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we what? performed underwater? Yeah, technically. The the pool's on the roof. Y'all were yeah. underwater. Apparently. I still decline to comment. Because Riverside has the same trivia question. Riverside's my high school that I went to. Riverside well, high Riverside school. also has a pool on the roof? That's so cool. I decline to comment. Wow, I love that both of our high schools have pools on the roof. I decline. You know what school cover. doesn't have a pool on the roof? Chapel Hill High. Okay. They suck. Okay. That's why y'all performed at East. Okay. Just in I, case y'all were curious. I still decline to comment. That's my mileage. My gas mileage is dropping rapidly. Well, really? I wonder why. Maybe because someone insists on sitting in my car. Well, you know, 
not my fault that my phone wants to overheat. Yes, it is. Okay, look. <laughs> it's not my fault. Allen's high school didn't have a pool, roof, or other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some schools have a pool in the ground. In the ground. But that's not as fun. Yeah, so in Riverside, in the main hallway, mm-hmm. if you're walking from the rest of the building towards the front door, there's a, a giant atrium mm-hmm. where there's a, a set of doorways, mm-hmm. like, high up. Like, there's no easy way to get to them. Like, you'd have to have, like, a ridiculously tall ladder. Uh-huh. And so a lot of uh, speculation is that that's the entrance to the pool. Oh, our entrance to the pool. So we have, a, like, a secret stairwell mm-hmm. that takes you up to the third floor. Mm-hmm. And once you're on the third floor, the third floor is just, like, the top of the theater. Um, really. Like, that's just the, mm-hmm. the handicap accessible way to get to the top. Um, and then there's another secret stairwell mm-hmm. on top of that on the roof or you can like take the ladder that's somewhere in the auditorium mm-hmm. I think you have to get to the loft but I'm not, I don't know that's the boring way the swim team though they all get on the bus drive in a circle get off the bus and then go to the pool on the roof because hmm. everyone thinks they practice at Homestead but they're mm-hmm. actually on the pool on the roof yeah my senior year of high school they uh they were wow, um, are we getting out no they were at 25 uh, we're getting out yeah at 25 we're getting out yeah, at my eyes, so they were, gas they were working on um, the uh, the roof my senior year. Mm-hmm. So, they were, it was like, well, some teams got to go somewhere else to practice, I guess. Mm, that sucks. Yeah. It just is la, like that. La, la. Can you text Michael one last time? Double check where they are. So we're chilling in the car for a few more minutes so my phone doesn't overheat completely. And then we will go outside and hang out by the fence. You said 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Okay, 20 more minutes. You want to pass? Well, you said in like 20 minutes. In like 20 minutes, so we'll pass that along. So, 20 minutes approximately. So, like 20 minutes or so till they get here. So, we're just going to chill for a little bit longer. So, 140-ish. There are people outside are joking about Michael texting while riding a bike. He is not doing that. In like 20 minutes, that's what he said. The like is really the, the estimate, the estimation machine. Do you want me to turn my car back on? Yes, please. Your life is so hard. Look, it's hot. Trying not to overheat my phone so that way the people from home can see hey, them. What percentage are you on? You know, I don't know. Okay. I've I've done this entire live stream without knowing what percentage my phone battery okay, has so been say, on. If your percentage is high enough, unplug so it doesn't overheat. No. <laughs> I do not know. I have never known. Another good question. Yeah. Um, if you if you had to delete one show from the Gilbert and Sullivan canon, everybody forgot it. It never existed. Which show? So you mean Thespis? Okay, shut up. Okay. Well, so the the next question is, 
of all the shows in the canon, uh, which one would you delete from the canon? So nobody had ever known about it or had thought of it or it was never written. I mean, in my opinion, the obvious answer would be Thespis because, you know, the the music was... Because it's already deleted. The music was already deleted. (laughs) So that is the, the current question. Um, and second question, if people don't like that one, (laughs) um, (laughs) is favorite show that isn't Gilbert and Sullivan? Because everybody in this group is always talking about Gilbert Sullivan. What's your favorite non-them show? So, so, which show at the canon would you delete? Uh, and then second question is favorite non-Gilbert and Sullivan show. What's your favorite non-Gilbert and Sullivan show, James? I think Drowsy Chaperone. The drowsy chaperone. The drowsy chaperone. Or to say, like the guy in the on the soundtrack, the drowsy chaperone. Mm-hmm. So one one vote for Ida for being deleted. Okay. Is that Princess Ida? Yeah, Princess Ida. And then Alan says he dobbed for Princess Ida. Yeah, I I I understand. I don't know anything about that one, so. <laughs> the last time we did that, we did that in outer space. Setting. Yes, I remember that. That's yeah. all I know about it. Yeah. It was funny one time, I was actually working on the set for Patience uh, last year, and I went through, because I was trying to figure out how many changes I can do for a set change, so I was looking at some of our past shows to see what our capabilities were, and I pulled out Princess Ida, because I remember we had a difficult set change in that one. Uh, It's also the only show in the Gilbert and Sullivan canon with three acts. Yeah, that's why we should cut it. It's just too damn long. Yeah. All their shows are so long. That one has a third act. Get rid of it. Yeah, so then I, I put it in. I don't know who chose the song for the, the menu music, but the, the song for the menu music was was slapping. It was amazing. I was like, dang. Okay, now I got to listen to this because this sounds really good. I didn't actually listen to it. I need to, though, because mm-hmm. it's good. So Alan says for non-GNS, Into the Woods. Yeah, Into the Woods is good. And I also freaking love Carousel. Into the Woods. I don't know a lot about Carousel other than it's Rodgers and Hammerstein. And some people feel very strongly about Rodgers and Hammerstein. Yes. Yeah, my mom is not a fan of Rodgers and Hammerstein. Which is valid. Yeah. I, I hated Into the Woods for a really long time because I did it in middle school. Mm-hmm. And it was just... It was, just, it was just bad. Mm-hmm. Everything about it was bad. I mean, I love my theater teacher from middle school. Don't get me wrong. He was the be- one of the best theater teachers I ever had. One of the best teachers I ever had. One of the best mm-hmm. role I love my middle school theater teacher. He was great. Mm-hmm. But it was such... Just everything about it was bad. Mm-hmm. And for a while, I was like, I hate Into the Woods now. <laughs> but then I, like, watched it again. Mm-hmm. And I just, like, cleansed the memory. And I was like, this show slaps. And then the junior version, which kind of sucks, because mm-hmm. it's only Act 1. So mm-hmm. what's the point? Yeah. Actually, I remember in elementary school, I would watch Into the Woods in music class a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, but we never saw Act 2. Mm-hmm. So I was like, this show sucks. This is just fairy tales. This is boring. Yeah. And then I was in middle school, and I saw Act 2, and I was like, oh, my God. This show's oh amazing. God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Did your mom come? Hello. No, I think they're just getting ready. Oh. Yeah. But well, she should be here in the next ten minutes. Yeah. So I. I vote we get out of car. Yeah, I do too. Gas mileage. Just save your gas mileage. Look. Okay. Hopefully this will be the last time we get out of the car, and hopefully we'll be wrapping this up soon. I had to find my mask. Well, you left it. That's not helpful. I would see my back pocket. Also, My Fair Lady, West Side Story Company. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. I I like West Side Story. Uh, they're making a new West Side Story. Um, Steven Spielberg's uh, directing it. I don't know if it got delayed or anything because of the whole virus and everything, but I would imagine it got delayed somewhat. Uh, but I had seen some of the photos coming out for it, and I was very excited about it.
Oh, you're talking about the new West Side Story. Yeah. Yeah. I never saw West Side Story. You should. I should. Never seen it though. I've heard a couple of the songs. Hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got another 10 minutes approximately. She is. She's actually made up some time since yeah. she first guessed. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Because I would have been here too, otherwise. Yeah. So where are they now? So they're about 10 minutes away, approximately. Unless something drastically Unless, went wrong. Which I doubt. Yeah. Actually, I'm so glad she had about the best possible day. Honestly, yeah, the weather today is great. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Get pranked. My hey, dad came up behind me and took up my mask. I know. Very mean. Get pranked. Hey, look, another biker. Yeah. Cat-like Where'd you get cat-like tread stuck in your head? I don't know. Anna, Anna's Anna. out here singing cat-like tread. All I know is the words with cat-like tread. And then, I, and then I always think of a summer camp song. I, it's I, totally unrelated. From my recent uh, knowledge and what I can think of off the top of my head, I think that song has the, uh, the most comedic value. Oh, that song is in, the best. In the Gilbert and Sullivan canon. Because just the idea of them sneaking around, like fully shouting, and like in the music, the cymbal crashes. Well, it's also just my singing favorite about part. how quiet they are. Yeah, about how quiet they're trying to be, and the cymbal crashes, and they're just... It's my favorite comedic value. Yeah, it is a good song. Oh, I was tagged in a video. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, there's so many magic books. So, she'll be coming around that way. There's uh, coming around the mountain. She won't be coming around the mountain, but she'll be coming around here. We're all gathered here. We're all out here. <laughs> So many Annas. So many Annas. I love the shirts. Thank you. I need to get more of that. Yeah. 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 I got this one on a uh, Zazzle. 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 Another shirt plug on Zazzle. You can get your own customized little DSL shirts. Drop the Zazzle shirt. Yeah. How did they? Yeah, so there's uh, there's basic templates, and uh, and you can customize them a little bit. Like um, I've got a techie one at home that's got set designer on the back, but you can get it with a blank on the back, or you can add something on the back or on the front. Yeah, this one we had lying around in the house. I don't know what year this is from. 2016. It says on your stomach. Zazzle. Z A Z Z L E. Yeah. Yeah, so if you go to Zazzle, look up Jarm Saviards. Then it's right there. Fire truck. It's the wee wee voice. Fire truck in the distance. Time's it? It is 132. 132, so. We are estimated T minus 8. Yeah. So a little bit longer.
another good question. Another good question? Another good question. You're coming up with another. a lot of good ones. Oh, thanks. Um, uh, well, Jesus Christ, now you're putting me on the spot. Well, I asked it of you, but I didn't ask it of the crowd. Well, I, no, I did. I did. I asked favorite character. That's basically dream role. Yeah. Um, dream gender bent role. Mm. Okay. Like, if you normally play male characters, who would you play? Or even just, like, a different vocal part than yourself. Like, a character that realistically you're probably never going to play. Like, I'm never going to be, I mean, I'm never going to be in any of them. <laughs> But, like, I would never play, uh, Quick, who's the bassiest bass you can think of? Um, old Adam and, uh, Rudigor. Yeah, Again, I'd never I keep play thinking old of all Adam. the, of the Rudigor stuff. I would stuff. never play old Adam, but, but maybe the, I really want to. Yeah. Okay, so, dream role character that, like, realistically probably never play. Um, let's see. I don't know. Now I have to think about it. Katashaw. Katashaw? You, you'd want to play Katashaw? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think the idea of me playing as Katashaw would be I think that hilarious. would be really funny. I think he'd be a hilarious Katashaw. Mine would be... Honestly, mine would be the defendant. Because I just think he's funny. Yeah, yeah, I just think he's hilarious. I want to be that kind of a smarmy, sleazy, you know. Yeah. People don't write those characters for girls. No, they don't. Not in the same way they write them for boys. Yeah. Patiently, huh. for patience. It takes patience to run a marathon. You know what? That's valid. The plaintiff is also a funny role. The judge is a. Honestly, I just think Trial by Jury is a really underrated show. That's fair. The only person I don't like is the head of the jury. I can't remember his name, the character the name. Usher. Usher. Yeah. No, not the guy who's like. Who like calls in Angelina, but the guy who has like four solo lines and he's part of the jury. Oh, him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just think he was kind of useless as a character. I was like, why? Uh, well, I mean, it's kind of important to have somebody in the jury to do that. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that makes the most sense. So we're all we gathered here, <laughs> all right here, oh, okay. to celebrate <laughs> the union. There is no union happening. Of Pam and her completed marathon. See? Oh. Yeah. I can tell. Oh, this has the foreman. Huh? He doesn't yeah, represent. Yeah, the foreman. The, provides the yeah. photo bombing. That's true. Photo bombing. Carl That's jumping true. in on our live stream. I don't know, I just feel like... I mean, you're His allowed whole to. essence could be substituted in a different. I don't know. I think it's because I don't remember the character. When were you born, James? 2000. Yeah, that was 2001. Born too early. You should have been born like two months later so I could be older than you. you yeah, so uh, she is just about done. She's about 10 minutes away. Um, so we're all. Gathered here, waiting. Wow, she's so cool with yeah. her sunglasses. She'll be coming down this way, coming all the way around. We are almost wrapped up here. Yeah, thank you, Michael, for putting the, the link in there. Yeah, just throw in all the bit.ly links. Might as well. Go to the links. Click on the links. DSL on Facebook, on Twitter. 
Refresh on the Instagram, page of the links. on Twitch, Interact yeah. With the links. On YouTube. Throw them all in there. We are a few minutes away. From greatness. So, hey, I got a question. Yeah. Pam, Pam just ran a marathon. Took yes. her about six hours or some six hours. Close yeah. to six hours, Close yeah. Close to six hours. What, what else is something you could do in six hours? Watch multiple Gilbert and Sullivan shows. That's true. How many do you think you could watch? They each run about two, right? Yeah, so you could get two, maybe three. Yeah. I if mean, you may trial one of them, you can definitely get three in. Because that one's shorter. See... See, you could sleep during the time McElroe, but you know, I think watching Durham Saviard's productions uh, from is years past is way better. You could make a you could make a budgeting sheet and determine how much you can afford to donate per month, per year, per whatever. Yeah, that is true. You could do that. You could uh, write your own show. No. <laughs> write your own Gilbert and Sullivan. Yeah, write show. your own. It might take a I little mean, more than six hours, but you could get started. I mean, that's what Alan did. Yeah, I mean, I think it took him a little more than six hours, but you could get started. Done that, yeah, Alan did that. Uh, yeah. yeah, if you if you watch Grand Duke, unedited, uncut, it's probably like three to four hours long. Okay, so you could get that and then like one of the shorter ones. Yeah. <laughs> you could... What else could you do? You could probably watch a lot of... Uh, you could watch... Probably every video on the Gilbert and Sullivan, or uh, not Gilbert and Sullivan, Durham Savier's YouTube page. Yes. You probably watch all their videos. You could watch all of those. You could, what else could you do in six hours? You can drive to and from Burlington while listening to Gilbert and Sullivan music. You could. Not Burlington, uh, Blowing Rock. I mean, also Burlington, but Blowing Rock would take you six hours. Charlotte. Charlotte. Um... What else? Yeah, you could work uh, work in our warehouse on a Saturday yeah. when, when we're building a set. You could work at your local grocery store, although yeah. that tends to take and more than six hours. And there's a bit.ly link for volunteering. Yeah. There's all these things that you can do in six hours. Yeah. And a lot of them don't even take six hours. Yeah. Like, you could watch one Gilbert Sullivan show, and that would only take you two. <laughs> Unless it's Grand Duke, then it'll take you six. You could... What? No word. Should be soon, though. The sun came out. <laughs> the sun came out just as a... Uh, we're getting to the end. There, yeah, so there's the, the correct one. Uh, yeah. Check some Michael one last time. You could kill a bug. In six hours. Yeah. Sit around with the chopsticks, go for the fly uh -huh. like in Karate Kid. You could make a Gilbert and Sullivan themed parody of Karate Kid. That would probably take you six hours. Yeah. It would probably take less than six hours to come on down. But we're probably not. No, they're coming. Would you, would you have the, 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 they're close, hopefully. It's at 10 minutes. Why do they keep getting slower? Why do you all keep getting slower? <laughs> Why do you all keep getting slower? <laughs> Can I send them that? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you all keep getting slower? <laughs> so another 10 minutes. Another 10 minutes. Right? You know, the original planned ending time was 2, so. Is it close to 2? Yeah. 10 minutes puts us at 10 till. Oh, wow. So, they'll probably be done at 2. So, uh, yeah, I think they lost all that uh, progress they made. Hey, look, a dragonfly. Where? Right there. Where? Right there. Oh, there. Let's just grab my phone. You could write a nice donation check. Yeah, that would that would also take you less than six hours. There is. I don't know if I can see it, but there is a dragonfly right there. Is this actually her finish? Yeah, this is actually her finish. Okay. Okay, guys. New question. What should we name the dragonfly? Yeah, well, there is a dragonfly. Right down here, just chilling. What's his name? 
Yeah. Or her name. Or their name. Or their name, yeah. Any name. What is it? I can't read the chat, so. Yeah, I'm trying to read. It's a fairy. It is a fairy. It doesn't answer the name, though. Um. Its name could be fairy. Fleta. Fleta? Is that Fleta. a reference? I have no, I have no idea. It's been a while. Said to make, oh, to make distance. <laughs> so the reason they were so far ahead is because they hadn't gone far enough, and that's why they're taking so long is because they're trying to make up the distance. Uh, so it's not that they're getting slower. Oh, uh, okay. Flood is one of the minor fairies in Iowa. Okay, yeah. See, it's been a while. It's been a he while. Just I would not have gotten that. Look at it. Can I text Michael? Just sprint. Well, Just yeah. sprint. No, ask how much distance they have left. could do while we wait we can have a race everybody goes down and race no that's not we could do a relay race no that's not and suggesting a relay race a relay race we all run a tiny distance the <laughs> frogs why did it have to be frogs he says i don't know yeah. okay well according to pam they are almost there where I don't know where they are. Okay. So they're on the pathway. What? So like they're there? Maybe. I don't know. Apparently from Pam, we're almost there. They're almost here. As soon as I see them come around the corner, I will flip the camera. Until then, you will have to deal with my face. Okay. With cat like tread. <laughs> do, 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 do. And I was gonna perform a concert. Yeah, it's just gonna be that line, but like eight times. But that's the only song I can think of. I don't think I've memorized any other songs. I used to know the words to the Thespis songs, but I forgot them. Well, it's been three years. Yeah. Almost three years. I think I might remember Love Sick Boy, because that song just slaps. But I don't remember. Yeah. Yes, exactly. We've been talking about that specific uh, for quite a while. The music was written by Alan. Alan Riley Jones. Yes, because the uh, the music got deleted, except for, like two songs. Yeah, the two songs, Climbing Over Rocky Mountain and Little Maid of Arcadie. Climbing Arcady. Over Rocky Mountain, Sleeping with you, Let the Fountain, Da 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 you sang it more than one. You sang it in rehearsal, didn't you? Or did you just wait for the show? No, I sang it in rehearsal. You just lip sync all through rehearsal. The show comes around. You're like, there we go. Now I'll sing it. No, no, no. no. I, I mean, I sang it for that one show and that was it. Now, some other people, like my mom, who sang it in three different Pirates and Thespis, she, she wouldn't know the words. And she actually used that for uh, her audition piece for several years. She was like, it's simple enough, I'll just sing that. It's 
So James, what are you gonna do when you get home after this live stream? Uh, post the Mikado on YouTube. And what else? Uh, well, we gotta get dinner. Well, yeah, but it'll be like three. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I'll probably chill out for a little bit, drink some water. Yeah, hydrate. drop some uh, local Durham restaurant <laughs> no. in the chat. No. <laughs> or local Chapel Hill if you want to take a drive. Nah. We've driven out. Uh, we've driven long enough. I know. That was the joke. Soon. 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 Yeah, apparently they had to add distance. So they didn't get enough up front. Yeah. But my mom sent a message saying that she's almost here, and Michael's been saying soon. So. Are you streaming? I am streaming. Thank you. Soon. That's all I know. <laughs> okay, at 1.44, so five minutes ago, Pam said almost there, and eight minutes ago, Michael said 10 minutes. So, soon. Soon. <laughs> Soon is soon. Brain is like, take off your shirt. And then, no. then you'll be cooler. And I'm like, there's no. so many things wrong with that statement. Yeah. Don't, don't it won't do even make me cooler. I'll just be hotter. Yeah. Just have the sun beating down on my bare Yeah, skin. the sun really uh, came out. Yeah. You know, at the last minute. Man, remember when the forecast said uh, cloudy? And See, then it turned I mean, there humid? are clouds. Oh, yeah, but it's humid. I mean, Louisiana's hair. humid. It's humid. It's something weird. Okay, so when she comes around here, she'll be coming from over there. She'll be coming And around. then she'll be coming down the pathway, all the way down to the end. So, we got a, a nice vantage point. Is that? No, that's not him. No. No, Michael's wearing a black shirt. That guy who was just running. What do you think his distance goal was? Oh my goodness. I don't know. I think he was running a marathon too. Okay. Because I feel like we saw him earlier. Uh, we haven't. Oh. Maybe we did. Maybe you just don't remember. You never looked. I always looked. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. So, Michael is always wearing a black shirt. Like, it's very rare that he's not wearing a black shirt. Sometimes he wears purple. Sometimes for, he wears for purple. LSU. Yeah. But he got, uh, the, uh, Durham Savvy Yards techie shirt uh, on Zazzle and he has he's wearing that because I've been plugging in Zazzle the entire time wearing my Zazzle shirt and my mom's got her Zazzle shirt and oh, Michael's someone. got his Zazzle shirt yeah <laughs> From Marathon to Waterloo in order category. That's, uh, that's to the tune in Pirates. I'm going to get my water bottle. Yes, please. You got to stay hydrated. It should be a few more minutes until uh, until she gets here. She uh, should be wrapping up re uh, relatively soon. So around the two o'clock time that we originally estimated, we thought she would be here earlier, but we were wrong. So she'll be close. Yeah. I'm gonna refill mine. Okay. Got you. Back away from the crowd so I can drink my water. Hello.
feet. She will be close to done real soon. She's gonna crash. Yeah, after this, she's gonna take a, a big nap. And then I will probably end up going out to get food. Very good idea. Yes. Come on in. Yeah, getting a photo opportunity. phone is starting to overheat so the the chat is getting darker to see you want to sit in the car my purse is in there i mean yeah she will eat first and then she will take a nap she will probably eat something uh wash her feet in a epsom salt bath because that's what she does and then takes a nap That's what she tends to do. <laughs> we've, I mean, we've got the signs on Anna's car over there. I don't see it. It's on the back for people driving by. Did you put it on the? I don't see it on the ground anymore. Did it blow away? Oh, it might have. It's oh, fine. It was fine. If you didn't yeah. It's because she opened her car. Uh, oh, yeah, there she is. I think. Yeah, she's back there. So here she comes. She's way down there. She's coming around the corner. So there's Michael oh. on the bike coming in first. He's coming right there. There's Michael. There they That's are. My time to finish. Shout out here singing whole poetry. There she is. Yeah. Okay. So we will get one more close up once she comes wrapping around here. And then we'll be wrapping up the stream. Yeah, she'll be coming up here. And just goes. the moral support. Everyone's getting in on the marathon spirit. Oh, yeah. oh my signs. Darn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, my pom -pom so they're coming up around the bend. And then. The last hill. Yeah. They're coming around. Then they're going to come say hi. Thank you, Michael. We tried our best. Is she come over here? Yeah, she's coming over here. Where'd she go? That's Michael. Yeah, there's Michael, and she's coming around the long way. <laughs> That's...
ready. Yeah. So we're gonna go meet up with her and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the stream before my phone completely overheats. It's been a fun stream. This will stay up on Twitch for the time being. We're gonna work on trying to get it up on YouTube uh, hopefully soon. So, hope you all enjoyed. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did a thing. Let's see if Michael wants to be on camera. Michael. You want me? Okay, we'll say something. Too many people. You did it. Cool. Cool. Michael says cool. That's all he does. I just want to go eat. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here. It was great seeing all of you. This will stay up on Twitch. And again, it'll be on social, it'll be on the uh, YouTube page soon. So, have a good rest of your weekend. Hail poetry. Hail poetry.